three jobs and one career. So in a simple term, I had three torturing experiences and one nurturing experience. So many of us here have numerous working experiences with many companies. So how many career or how many jobs do you have? So to me, a company that provides me with a job is a company that has a discouraging culture. A culture that do not have a common vision, a common value, a blame culture, a culture that only focuses on problems rather than opportunities. And you start to lose confidence in the management, in the leadership, and in the system of the company. <coughs> have you ever had the experience of trying to apply for a training? and you get a reaction from the management that as if you're going to cause the company share to drop by 50% the next day. I have. Do you ever have the experience of trying to have a discussion or just to take a little break at the Starbucks or at the pantry and you're being seen as doing a potential terrorism act? I have. Have you ever had the experience of the management trying to delay giving you the promotion, although you deserve it, just because you seem happy and you plan to give it to you upon your thought of resigning? I have. But on the other hand, company that provide me with a career is an organization that has a culture that helps to shape my working enjoyment, relationship, as well as the values. All of us here today, attending Toastmasters. Do we have to apply many forms to fill in layers and layers of form and get approval for management? Do we have to come into the room secretly? No. Why? Because we are all in a company that drives innovation through a culture of inclusion and trust. Cisco is a company that understands that every employee has a different approach to your life goals. And because of their appreciation of this concept, they build personal development into day-to-day -day agenda of every employee. We are free to develop the way we want towards our goals. And that's why we are free to join program at Postmaster without any pressure. One of the top executives of Cisco ever states, Every one of us here has very variable skill, experience, and value that we brought to the company. But all these will mean nothing if we do not feel comfortable or safe to contribute. John Chamber, our respect, respectable CEO, ever said, the importance of listening, the importance of opening to diverse ideas, and the importance to create an environment that people feel safe to challenge one another. That is so well said, and I always remember that. And I think fiscal management and the leadership all have fulfilled the promise, and they do walk the talk, and I do respect them for that. Everything aside, the number of awards that Cisco has gotten as a top company, I think, has, has just articulated the value of the company that it has proven over the years it's not just a few days. Culture is built over decades. We are the top six company in the world by Fortune magazine as the best company to work in. We are the top 50 companies in various magazines that say we are a company that have believed and promoted diversity and a good place for women to work in. We all, the movement in this room, I'm sure you will not disagree with that. So what is culture? What is the organization culture? It is something that is so hard to express, but it is something that you know it when you stand it. It's like our personality, the value, the vision, the behavior, the habits that mold a behavior in the long run. It is something that we believe in. It can be as simple as the way the fixture is being laid out in the company, the quality of the chair that you're sitting on. The amount of F and B you have, we have at the pantry. The <laughs> 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 color scheme of all the meeting rooms. Simple things like that. The way the executive sends out messages, the way we interact with one another during a meeting, all gives volume to what our Cisco organization culture is. 
And today, to be honest, the new generation, when they look for jobs, money, prospect is of course one of the considerations. But organization culture is the one of the top criteria they <coughs> consider when they choose the company. And I always believe that a company, a good leadership should be near enough to relate to others, but far ahead enough to motivate us. And I think Cisco has really proven the aspect. So today, standing here, I think the key takeaway I want everyone to have today is three. Number one, Cisco is a great place to work. Number two, if you do your job well, you will have a job tomorrow. And number three, I can't remember number three. <laughs> <laughs>